Hi everyone, I'm going to show how to create a three-way fan diagram. In this diagram, there are three circles and uh, seven sections. Uh, and uh, the three circles are overlapped with each other. Uh, and uh, on each section, there is a numeric label and they can be dynamic depending on the data source. Let's get started. First, let's have a look of the data set. Okay, here we have three rows, basically one circle per row, and X, Y are the coordinate of the center of each row. And the seven following columns here are the seven values for each of the sec seven sections. Okay, they are the labels. Let's put X and Y to columns and rows. Here we have got the three data models. Let's make them bigger and select the circle as data mark and add color to it. Okay, so to make them look nice. However, you see the circles are not big enough because we since we are already at the maximum of size okay the trick here is to add a constant okay this is a constant just one uh, to the size boom they are big and uh, we want to make the circles transparent okay uh, yeah so so that we can see through However, you see that uh, they are not uh, close to each other. Okay, they are far apart. Uh, so we want to make them uh, closer than the just we need to add a um, reference line. Okay, with our labels, with our lines, and that's enough to push them together. And one, also we want them to be at the center. So we need to add a reference, reference line on this side, the negative side. So here is a calculated field, which is just the negative of this range, uh, range parameter. Okay, let's add it here. Then we can use it to add, well, sorry, it must be average because it's repeated three times there. Average, no label, no line. Oh, I think there's one too many. Okay, so you can see that uh, they are well positioned on the horizontal side, okay? So we need to also add the same on the y-axis, but I'm not going to do it since I know you can already do it. Now we are going to put this into detail, these seven values, seven columns, and because uh, we need them to add labels to the seven uh, sections. Also we need to use uh, average for aggregation because they are already repeated three times. The last step is to add labels to the circle. I already added a few. Just by right click to the place you want to put the labels, annotate, mark, and uh, we don't need all those variables, we just need the one. Okay. And uh, drag them to the middle and format with full transparency and uh, no line. Voila, uh, we are done and uh, enjoy Tableau. See you next time.